welcome you to this Black History program. But I'd like to say just a little bit more. You see, God already welcomed you when you walked in His door. Right. When you come into God's house, there's no need to feel intimidated. Why? Because we're all worldly sinners just trying to make it. You should find someone here with whom you can relate. You can walk in with dirt on you and walk out with a clean slate. Listen, you may have got up with pain or with stress, but you're here now, so relax. I pray you find rest. So go ahead and lift up your hands, shout hallelujah, or sing out loud. We invite you to be yourself and not just follow the crowd. Come on. We're glad you're here, and we thank God for you too. On behalf of the New Prospect Church family, I welcome you.
be doing the purpose of the skit. The purpose of the skit today is to show how far black Americans have come throughout the years as a black race and how one man's dream made a difference in our lives. Although we have come a long way, we are not completely there yet. We are not, I'm sorry, but look at on, on the bright side. <clears throat> but look on the bright side. Our conditions are much better for black Americans today. Keep living, keep looking to the hills, which come with our help. For it is God who has brought us this far. So keep striving and praying to keep the dream alive. One man's dream. <clears throat> As the skit begins, Sam and Cindy have just purchased their bus tickets to go visit their relatives in another state. <laughs> As they enter the bus, all three of them would take a seat in front of the bus. The bus driver co confronts them by saying, Nicholas, y'all can't set up there on the front row of this club. Get on back down on the back where the cover folks folk sit. Go on, get back down. Go on. Why the cover folks folk to be? Go on to the back. Go on, I'm still here. Go on for I call the police on y'all. The three of them threw up their hands and went to the back of the bus. And Sam says, We don't want any trouble. Just do as he said. And the young boy Billy Bob says, Well, we can sit with him. <laughs> when they arrived at their destination, they got off the bus and went to the bus station to use the bathroom. The watchman was standing near the door and said to them, uh -oh. Where do y'all think y'all going? <laughs> to the bathroom? Boy, can't you read? That's how I said, what's only? You ain't what? Whoa! So, the watchman directed them to the bathroom outside the station uh, on the side. Then they saw a water fountain and stopped to get a drink of water. And there stands a guard and he said, Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> That's all the cold <laughs> You can't get water from here. It's white only. What does that say right there? Water fountain. White only. Get out of here. <laughs> then Sam, Billy, and Billy Bob go to the restaurant across the street to get something to eat. As they entered the door, a waitress said to them, What's your dairy?
black people no longer have to step aside on sidewalks, use separate bathrooms, nor sit on the back of buses. Blacks are no longer banned from cafes or hotels with white slippers. Nor do our children have to attend separate schools to use their old worn out books. We are still struggling with racism and prejudice today. All you got to do is tune in to the news. So let us not lose sight of one man's dream that changed the condition for black people. It is important to know where we came from and to focus on where we are going. Introduction of all the characters of the skit. The narrator number one was read by Sister Pam. Narrator number one read by Sister Pam Haynes. Narrator number two read by Jermaine Taylor Jr., better known as Jay. Sam played by Lil Rod, Lil Rod Tally. Sydney played by Kaylee Small. Bus driver played by Deacon Lockett. Hotel manager played by Jordan Clark. Waitress played by Nicole Talley. Uh, the guard played by DJ Burks. And Billy Bob played by Zion Simmons. Watchman uh, played by Reverend Talley. Dr. Martin Luther King was played by Bryson Lockett. Directors are Sophie Collins and Bessie Conway, and this skit was written by yours truly, Geraldine McIntyre. Let your glory fill this place. Let your all consuming fire fill this tabernacle and purify our hearts. Surround us in this place. Watch us breathe new life within. In a refreshing love, purify our hearts. Let your glory fill this place. Let your all consuming fire
Reverend Tal and Reverend Smith, my sisters and brothers in Christ, I have been given the task to do the accomplishments and achievements of the members here at New Prospect. I tell you, when I first got started, I hardly had anybody. Then when people found out what I was doing, and then everybody just started pouring in information to me. And I thank the Lord for that. So it is a little lengthy, but I tell you, it's worth it. In the year of our Lord, 1869, a small group of Christians under the leadership of Pastor Peter Smith organized New Prospect Missionary Baptist Church. Through their determination and faith in God, they strive toward erecting a place of worship, a place where everybody is somebody. Through the energetic leadership of Pastor Duvall, followed by Pastor D.S. Rainey and Pastor Willie Jackson, brings us to the dynamic leadership of Pastor George Taylor, who has done and is doing great things here at New Cross. <laughs> continues to grow, God has blessed us with special people whose achievements in the community will be stepping stones for our future generation. I would like to share with you how God works. In January of 1989, Sammy Lee LeBron was in part at People Lounge's Furniture. Learning every job that was put before him, as he climbed the ladder of leadership, he learned the furniture building inside out. But one evening in January, people loungers had a huge layoff. That morning, they had laid off 74 people. By late that evening, they, the layoff consisted of one more person, Brother Sammy Lee LeBron. Man closed one door, but God opened another. Amen. Two weeks later, he started LeBron's upholstery. As his business flourished, he served the people for over 30 years until his retirement. God also blessed us. He blessed Sister Mary Haynes, who graduated from Foster's Beauty College in Ripley, Mississippi becoming the first black cosmetologist in Wren, Mississippi. In 1967, school segregation began. And in 1969, Brother Willie Lockett was elected the first black Mr. NHS and the first black president of his class. And he has been asked to give the address to the NHS graduating class of this year, 2023. <laughs> the Guardian Angels Home Daycare Center played an important role in education, serving the Wren community and the surrounding areas for over 20 years. Owner and director, Sister Minnie Bogan, head teacher, Bessie Conaway, now, if I asked you what is a community, your answer would be a group of people living in the same place, having the same characteristics in common. These members of New Prospect employ people in the community, helping families support their livelihood. The late Robert Lewis McIntosh, owner and operator of New. Macintosh Masonry, serving Wren in the surrounded areas with his talents for over 50 years plus. The late brother Tony Lee White Masonry employed many people in the Wren community. Brother Harold Deerworth, owner and operator of Deerworth Construction, 
specializing in concrete. His slogan, let us get the job done. God has given his business over 30 years and he is still thriving. Amen. Did you know that Mr. Willie Wilson, I call him Mr. Wilson, <laughs> he is the first black and longest serving president of local union 1598 at Vista Chemicals, presently Westlake Chemical. Sykes LeBron served two consecutive terms as Monroe County District Supervisor. Robert Haynes Jr., the first black president of True Temple Sports in 2021. Kenneth Davis, the first black vice president of True Temple Sports. Jermaine Taylor is the youngest and the only black man who has ever served as president of the West Point Consolidated School System. Amen. Amen. Superintendent. Yes, sir. I <laughs> <laughs> and Ecclesiastics 3 and 1 says, to everything there is a season. DeMario Reddy, attorneys practicing law in the state of Mississippi. <coughs> D'Antonio Red, industrial engineer in Cincinnati, Ohio. Dr. Curtis Spang, general dentistry for United Health Services in Phoenix, Arizona. Dr. Sharon Griffin, professor at the University of Memphis, Tennessee. Dejanette Trice, attorney at law. Christy Lockett, HR manager and recruiter for Hudson. Antoinette Smith Epps, Dr. Ph. MHSA Associate Professor and MHA Program Director at Richmond M. Fairbanks Schools at the University of Indiana. The song Give Me My Flowers by James Clue. His lyrics are Give me my flowers while I live so I can see the beauty that they bring. Speak kind words to me while I can hear the comfort that they bring. I would like to recognize a lady whom I love and have the utmost respect for. She took an interest in writing at an early age. She used to go to the library and check out books on nothing but play. She told me when she got home that she would read over a play and that she would act out each character <laughs> in that play. Can you just imagine Conrad may say, Geraldine, who's in that room with you? <laughs> I would have liked to be in a flower the floor because I can only imagine. This woman has made us laugh. She has made us cry tears of joy with her hilarious plays and skits. The best playwright in North Mississippi, Geraldine, will you please stand? Right. Sister Geraldine. <laughs> Thank 
famous for his pork skins. Nori Moore Pickens, creator of Love Pre Cosmetics, established in 2017. Our church baby, Anne Marie Smith, created Re and Beauty Online Cosmetics in 2021. Rakita Griffin, I still call her Griffin, travel agent, a founder of Dream Chasing Travel, and t-shirt designer, Shirts Done By Me. Tanisa McIntosh Meadows, beautician, Yonta Adams, owner of Lux Bridal Boutique Events and owner-operator of 1110 Transportation, LLC. Deanne Doss, hairstylist, owner and operator of Creative Crowns, located at 3005 Central Road. And our youngest entrepreneur is Miss Treasure Ford. I'm so proud of Treasure. She created her online hair product called Treasure Roots. You all can check out her website, www.treasureroots.com. These people are living proof that if you have faith and doubt not, you shall only do this which is done to the fig tree. But also, if ye shall say unto the mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things, whatever ye shall ask in the prayer, believing, ye shall receive it. That was Matthew 21st chapter, 21st and 22nd verse. Thank all of you who helped me gather these important facts about our members here at New Prospect. And to the achievers, one day you will tell your story of how you overcame, what you went through, and it will be someone else's survivor guide to their achievements. Thank you.
did a wonderful job and they yeah. deserve a round of applause.
Father, our Holy Son, Jesus, and our precious Holy Father. Thank you, God, for enabling us to sit in here and you prospect one more time. Not because we've been good, but because you've been good to us. And Father God, we ask now in the name of Jesus that you would hide me behind the cross and go with me to the same destiny. Then I ask you in the name of Jesus that you would open the hearts and minds of your people up. Help us in this new world. Father God, I'm not willing to be here. When you're called, we're now going to call us to be here. Lord, we're here in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In the sense of God, sir. First of all, give thanks to God for our being here. Thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And thanks to the precious Holy Ghost, our Comforter and our God. Recognizing the Spirit of the Talent, Mr. Sylvia, Sister Taylor in her absence, Sister Talent officers, and other ministers, visitors, and friends. To sum it all up to all of God's children, I must say that it is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord, our God, one more time. He didn't bring us part of the way, but he brought us all of the way. And we certainly thank God for just being God. Amen. I don't plan on holding it long, but if I were running a little late this morning, I want to make sure that uh, the apple had everything she needed to eat on a tree before I left the house. God is in the blessing business. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we are going to Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Hebrews, the 13th chapter. We are going to try our best to be brief. Just give me a few minutes here. Uh, Hebrews, the 13th chapter. All of you have done a marvelous job. Amen. Some time I've been spread. Sometimes I pull up my uh, camera and I can see people out here working, so some time have been put in. Amen. Not just the hours, but the late hours. Amen. The book is Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Go down to the fifth verse. Well, I tell you, I just need to read all of them. Up to verse 6. Please, start with verse 1. But I want to concentrate on verse 6. And Hebrews, the 13th chapter, let's start the first verse. Now, we are, if you're there, we know how to amen. amen. If you're still looking, just say, wait a moment. There's nothing wrong with putting those phones out and going to it. Just don't do no text message and email and all that stuff while we're here in service. Amen? amen? This is God's house. Amen? amen. Hebrews, the 13th chapter, going to the first verse, let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Remember them that are in bond, as bound with them, and them who suffer adversity, adversity, as being yourself also in the body. Marriage uh -oh, is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But homeowners and adults is God would judge. No good man means in the word. Let your conversation be without covenant. And be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. God's word for the saints of God. And God's word is already written. I want to talk briefly from the servant. The Lord, when the Lord is on your side. When the Lord is on your side. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, that preacher in the pulpit is going to talk about when the Lord is on your side. Let church say amen. Now, I don't take my time here. I know we talk about black history. The narrative of black people as taught in the American schools began with slavery. The narrative, I'll say it again, of black people as taught in most American schools began with slavery. But that's not where our story began. Can I get a witness here? Our story begins in Africa. For each black American, our story begins in a particular part of Africa where there's a history, there's a culture, and there is a community. 
But what they teach us in these American schools, most of them, is that it started in slavery. Amen. But we said, I'm going to take my time here, and also God. We said, and also God. I'm going to say that again. We said, let me back up. I said, and also God. I said, and also God. We said, and also God. I thought you would up. When we think about the Lord and all he has brought us through, you can't help but say, thank you, Lord. Black history. Yes. But uh, 
I want you to know uh, that I'm black, January. January. March. April. May, June. July, August. September, October, November, December. I'm black every month. But I thank God mm, that he made me the way I am. And when I think about Joseph, how, how, how his brother sold him into slavery. And I said he was only 17 because they hated him. Our four pounds was sold into slavery. Talk to him here. Uh -huh. Put on an auction block. Just like to do cows. And folk go by and bid on them. Our African American men were made stub because, y'all don't give me the name, they wanted them to have a lot of field hands to work the field. But now, somebody say, well, now some of them still want to be stood. Well, uh, it may be in some of their blood. Can I guess that? But uh, the Joseph, they lied to the father and told him a beast must have killed him. Even though his brothers dismissed him, the Lord was still with him. Can I preach to y'all here? Joseph uh, was put in charge of the master's house. But the Lord uh, was still with him. Yeah. Is that right? Ah, uh, 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 Joseph, uh, all along, uh, uh, even he was in charge of the master's house. Uh, the master's wife uh, 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 lied on him, uh, and he was put in prison. Uh, she wanted, I uh, can't preach y'all, Joseph to lie with him. Uh, I believe she knew. Uh, there was some in Joseph uh, that wasn't in her master. Uh, she wanted Joseph uh, to lie with her. Uh, you know what I mean, lie? Uh, go to bed with her. Uh, sleep with her. Uh, have sex with her. Yeah, I'm over to you. But uh, Joseph grabbed uh, Joseph's coat. Anybody reads here. And Joseph uh, got out of his coat. Uh, can I get some help here? Uh, a lot of men uh, wouldn't have been word about uh, uh, getting out of the coat. Uh, but Joseph, uh, uh, good God Almighty, uh, uh, knew that the Lord uh, uh, had blessed him. Uh, uh, and what Joseph did, uh, all along, uh, uh, they put him in prison uh, uh, after the master's wife uh, uh, lied on him. Uh, uh, do you remember uh, uh, a man by the name of uh, uh, a boy, Reverend Emmett Teal, uh, uh, the white woman lied uh, on him and uh, they killed him uh, and God alright uh, I had to leave him but uh, they put Joseph in prison uh, and God alright uh, the prison God uh, gave him a leadership position uh, and God alright uh, then uh, God was still with him uh, gave him an opportunity uh, uh, to interpret uh, uh, Pharaoh's dreams uh, uh, and God alright uh, uh, their fame uh, uh, arose with fame and, uh, uh, and the land uh, uh, and he began uh, uh, to tell them uh, uh, there was going to be uh, uh, seven years of good uh, uh, and seven years of fame uh, uh, and God alright uh, uh, because the Lord uh, uh, was with Joseph uh, uh, and God alright uh, uh, but I stopped by uh, to tell you that uh, he raised Joseph uh, from the pit to the palace uh, all because uh, the Lord uh, worked with him uh, not only uh, Joseph went uh, you think about uh, the former president uh, Barack Obama uh, can I get a witness here uh, African Americans uh, used to clean uh, the White House uh, but he was uh, the head person, uh, the president uh, of the United uh, States of America. Uh, oh, uh, because the Lord uh, was with them. Uh, I got to leave you, but I want you to know that uh, 
Sometimes uh, it's our lowest state uh, that we know uh, that the Lord uh, is with us. Uh, can I walk down? Uh, I believe uh, if Joseph would tell you that uh, Job rather would tell you that uh, he lost it all uh, before God and, uh, restored him. Uh, it was all uh, because the Lord uh, was with him. Uh, and God all right. Uh, all right. I come there, Moses. Uh, I be with you, Moses. Tell you, uh, he found himself uh, on the backside of a million desert uh, before the third of the first. Uh, a pastor of God's people. A uh, uh, God uh, was with Moses. Uh, and God all right. Uh, Elijah will tell you uh, he was running from Jezebel uh, and say, God, uh, uh, take my life uh, before the God uh, uh, elevated him. Uh, and God, all right, uh, Jeremiah, uh, if he was here, uh, he would tell you uh, he was weeping in the dungeon uh, before restored, uh, before restoration uh, would come. Uh, I got to slow down here. Uh, I don't want to leave out nothing. Uh, and God, all right, uh, it was at our uh, lowest state uh, when our four pounds uh, learned uh, to sing song like uh, soon uh, uh, we'll uh, be done uh, with the troubles uh, of this world. Uh, and God, uh, all right, uh, I'm going home uh, to live with God. Uh, and God, all right, uh, it was at our uh, lowest state uh, when we used to sing song. Uh, but nobody uh, knows uh, the trouble I've seen. Uh, and God, all right, uh, I got the lady here when uh, we used to sing song like a uh, uh, swing low. Uh, a sweet chariot uh, uh, coming uh, to carry me home. Uh, and God, all right, uh, when it got so low, uh, every night then, uh, we would hear him saying, uh, Precious Lord, uh, uh, take my head, uh, uh, lead uh, uh, me on uh, uh, land, uh, uh, me stand, uh, uh, ain't uh, God, all right, uh, as I, I got to leave here, I get ready to leave me here, uh, according to River Parks, uh, and God, all right, uh, water holes, uh, and dogs don't exist now, uh, but the threat uh, and intimidation uh, of the holes that still exist, uh, and God, all right, uh, Jim Crow laws uh, don't exist no more, uh, but separate uh, and unequal. Uh, does exist, uh, and God, all right, uh, separation uh, don't exist no more. Uh, we have to ride a uh, uh, separate buses, uh, got separate uh, uh, handbooks in school. Uh, segregation uh, uh, don't exist no more, uh, but we have uh, the hells uh, and hell nots, uh, and God, all right. Uh, I got to get ready uh, to leave you here. Uh, uh, is there anybody here? Uh, I won't be there. Uh, go close. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, to see you uh, when the Lord uh, is on your side. Uh, you got a connection. Uh, the Lord will not leave us. Uh, the Lord will say, Come uh, as he was with us. Uh, because of our Father, uh, Abraham. Uh, uh, he will uh, 
Come on, it was not so. Come on, 